Hey, Justin Dyson here, Dyson Apiaries, wrapping up our honey season here, and today I want to take just a minute and show you how to use fume boards to remove your supers. Stick right with us. So first off, uh, you notice these hives don't have many supers on them. Um, I've already taken some of them off before we moved them back home from the mountains, but like these two here, they have a, a deep each on them that's a honey super that's above a queen excluder. Um, and then there's a couple supers on one down here. This is a hive that was already here. It's got a feeder on it. Um, but anyway, uh, I've shown you the, the blower method and today I want to show you how to use the fume boards. Um, you notice this is this is what they call a fume board when like when I bought this one this top was silver um, I painted it black I'll tell you why in a minute this is kind of a felt material now there's a couple different varieties of these things some of them have like a solar looking panel on it kind of like what you'd see on a uh, solar wax melter um, they all kind of work the uh, purpose of the felt is to absorb the uh, the chemical you're gonna put on there so I painted these black because like today it's uh, it's not very sunny so the, the the chemical doesn't really work unless it gets some heat built up on it and that's the heat kind of evaporates or sublimates the chemical it makes it go out into the colony and the bees just don't like it I'm gonna tell you this stuff smells like pure throw up uh, do not get it on you um, you're uh, you're gonna want to wear some gloves uh, whether it's your bee gloves or a pair of nitrile gloves or whatever you want to wear um, put some gloves on before you mess with this stuff but um, the chemical I'm using here today is uh, notice I have it in a bag just in case it leaks um, this is just honey robber uh, there's a uh, bee gone there's a couple different varieties of stuff out here it all smells like puke so um, it really doesn't matter but the bees hate it um, key thing don't use too much don't leave it on too long on a really hot day uh, can actually make the bees kind of get sick so you just want it on there for just a second uh, or, or just a few minutes uh, depending on the temperature and then get it off you you can kind of i'll show you in a minute but you can kind of raise the raise that fume board up and listen the bees will start roaring and you know if you give it another minute or two um, they'll start they'll start driving down off of that honey super and sometimes you still have to do a little cleanup with a blower if you don't want any bees and uh, that's kind of what i do i use a combination of the of the two so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get started like i say there's just a few to take off here um you know these sourwood flow wasn't that great but these did have a couple other supers on them but like i said i took those off so i'm gonna get these couple other supers off and um we're gonna work through that one cool thing with a fume board if you have more than more than a few colonies um like i have i have more than one of these fume boards so if you have a row of you know 30 colonies that you have to deal with the fume board allows you to put more than one on at a time and then you go back to your starting one and these are set on there like I say it's very temperature dependent and you're gonna have to experiment and learn kind of how long it takes if it's a screaming hot day it may only take a couple minutes if it's a cool day it may take 10 so uh, you're gonna have to kind of experiment with that and learn um, how long you're gonna have to leave it on there and kind of read the bees listen to the bees see what's going on um, but I use more than one fume board and you can kind of go down the row put on more than one and then go back and start on that first one, taking those supers off. And uh, as soon as you take that fume board off of that hive, you move it, you leapfrog to the next one, you take those supers off, you go to your next hive, you leapfrog to the next one. And that way you're constantly taking supers off and you may have to retreat with a little bit of uh, the chemical along the way, but it'll do more than one colony. So uh, we'll, just, we'll just do one colony here and just to kind of demonstrate and um, I hope it works out for you. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and um, let me know what videos you'd like to see. So you can see this stuff, it comes with a, with a little spout with a little bitty hole in it. Don't make that hole bigger because you don't need that much chemical. So this is a cool day. This is a cool day. I'm probably going to use a little more than I would on a hot day. Again, that's one reason I painted it black. It makes it absorb the heat a little better. But I'm just going to take this fume board and try to keep it to where you can see it and I'm just going to 
put a little bit of that chemical right there and that's uh that's more than you would need on a hot day but um that'll work so uh that's kind of how you apply it let me grab my smoker it's kind of a partially finished super i'm just going to go ahead and this thing's not like it looks like a telescoping cover but it's not um it, it's actually the same size outside dimensions as the as the boxes are so you just set that on top and uh let it sit there for a little bit we'll go ahead and put another one on always like to give them a little bit of smoke and kind of get them started we'll go ahead and get three of these things going it's a cool day so uh gonna take a minute for these to work it's probably not the best method when it's this cool but I wanted to show you guys how they work set that up there go ahead and do another one there we go so I have three fume boards going now this was a uh, it's a really hot day. I would think uh, three, three, four minutes tops um, would be a plenty of time. Um, on this cool day, it may take a little longer. So I'll jump back in when it's time to take these things off and, and start taking these supers off. Hey, bees are roaring and they have already uh, said goodbye. They are uh, getting away from that chemical. gone see what these right here look like hear them roaring they're they're trying to get away from that chemical they do not like it any more than i do smells like throw up so at, at at this point um bees are gone um for the most part there's a few left i'm gonna leave that on for just another minute but um at this point there's really not much more to do uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and take take this fume board off i'm gonna leapfrog it down to the next hive I want to take supers off of. Um, I'm gonna pop this super up. There's a few bees left in it, I'll blow them out real quick. And uh, we'll go to the next hive. Um, really important when we're, when we're doing super removal to, because uh, we're, we're, we're gonna typically be in a dearth when you're removing supers. Make sure you keep your stuff covered up. Uh, don't leave it exposed too long for, uh, for the robber bees to start getting in it or you have World War III. Get a lot of strong colonies sitting in the apiary when they come back from uh, making honey. So we don't want them to get started robbing or we kind of have a mess. Um, so yeah, keep your stuff covered up. You know, take your supers over there and immediately put a cover over them. Sometimes I use like an inner cover with, uh, and I'll duct tape over the hole. And that works good to slip on and off. You can use a, you know, a migratory top or a piece of plywood. It doesn't really matter, but um, that's really all there is to a fume board. Like I said, make sure you put some gloves on because the stuff stinks and you don't want your wife smelling it so, um, or your husband, whatever. Um, so make make sure you protect your skin from that nastiness and um, just give them, give them a minute. Like I say, pay attention to when it's hot. Um, the stuff works a lot quicker and you make your bees sick. So, so pay attention to the behavior of the bees. Hey, so that's pretty much it on fume boards. Uh, I had to stop and restart there. My battery went dead on my camera. So um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe you learned a little something. Just another method on how to get uh, bees out of the honey supers. You can use the blower method. You can use the fume board. You can use a, you know, a brush if you just have a few frames, but uh, any combination of them. But fume board, just another method. Um, pay attention to the uh, pay attention to the temperature. If it's really hot. It takes a lot less time for the chemical to do its job. And if it's uh, if it's cool, you know, overcast, um, it's going to take a lot longer. And you know, fume boards may not be the best method on on a really overcast day or cool day. So um, just keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you, what kind of content you'd like to see. Be happy to put some stuff out. And see you next time. Thanks.